The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. That show. Hello. Woo Woo. Welcome yes. back to that show. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How do you? We actually Hello. made it. If I had a heart condition, yeah, I, I know. Would have, <laughs> there would have been a problem just then. Welcome back to that show, guys. We are on episode nine of our right? nine or oh. ten? Not ten. Tenth episode. Oh, oh, wait, this is I ten? missed an episode. I thought we were gonna get somewhere. canceled already. Really? Oh, Who'd have thunk, man? Yeah. How did we make it this far? I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, thanks for you guys uh, for watching us and actually being entertained by us. We do try our best. Today we have another exciting. I'm kind of half-assed about it. I don't really try my best. It just kind of happens. You're just kind of awesome all yeah, your Yeah, I road. poop yeah. and then you know magic you know, gold things happen. Comes magic. Out. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> All right, I like it. Anyway, we're Can you back video to... that one time? I want to see. Actually, his, no, I don't. His oh, magical the shit? The shit that comes out of my mouth. Yeah, really, you guys have this thing with each other now. You know, yeah. I'm thinking that I should sit on one couch and you two should be next to each other and like some sort of <laughs> I know. romancy it, thing here. It's weird. If we, to... if we suddenly touch, I might fall in love or some shit. <laughs> and they'd be not cool. You know, it's like girls on 28A, but, you know, guys, and it's not sexy. It'd be like if you touch penises during a threesome? That's gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's gay. It's only gay when your balls touch. <laughs> Remember that, kids. <laughs> Sword picture. fighting is still all right. Anyway, on to what we're talking about today. First and foremost, we are going to begin with talking about A News. Are we going to go into our A News? Yeah, we start, we start with sure. you. Yeah, man. What? Ah, the oh, contest. contest. Uh, the contest? No, let's do that. You want to do that later? Let's you want to do a contest now? I don't okay. care. All right, well, we're, we're going to remind you guys that we have a contest going on. Now, if you uh, want to join in, all you have to do is follow us on at that show ph on Twitter. And all you have to do is use the word vagina in a sentence. Now, we have some awesome people who have already been tweeting us some of this stuff. So I'm going to read you a couple of examples that I thought it's were really funny. It's the official funny. have a yes, have a vagina. Have a vagina. Yes. <laughs> have vaginas. If you tweet us the best <laughs> sentence with vagina in it, the funniest one, you win a pair of have a So So Yes, and you have to use the hashtag team vagina because that's who we are. Correct. That's, that's how we find out. out. It is the one yeah. part of the body we would like closest to our face. Yes, team <laughs> vagina. And so we have a couple already that have been sent in uh, this one says a vagina is like the weather once it's wet it's time to go inside correct I like that one that's yes. one of my favorites uh, I'd kick you in your vagina but I don't want to lose my shoe <laughs> all right that's I like clever. that one like a lot that one. I like that one uh, and uh, this one is actually my favorite so far I'm confused how come your Instagram is private when your vagina is public <laughs> that's, my favorite. that's a good one that's a good one so guys keep sending in your hashtag team vagina uh, Entries. Vaginas. Yes, entries, and uh, you get a chance to win yourself a pair of Havajinas. 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 The fucking kill odds us, of that. Right? Yeah, okay. man. Their name is Havajinas, and yeah. it just totally rhymes. Havajinas. 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 <laughs> And yeah. you know, don't be badui about it, guys. Be smart about your vaginal jokes. You know, Correct. if you're gonna talk about the peckers, be good about it. It's a serious. It's pe a serious pe topic. Peckers. The peck pecks. Yeah, the peck pecks. All right, that'd be good. Anyway, continue on the poop pecks. <laughs> Continuing on to our first topic of the day. Now, this is your A News for you. You know what? Good, good job with you and the A News. The right? It's stuck now. A News. A News. You're saying it wrong, though. You're saying it like really correct. I, a News. I'm it's sorry. not. It's A News. The A News. Very eloquent the A News. And I pronounce things properly. My pronunciation is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven some Murgatroyd. <laughs> Heaven some Murgatroyd. Exit stage left demon. <laughs> all right. Okay. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> God damn it. First of all. All right. 20 terrifying facts that food companies don't want you to know. All right. Now we are in a generation now where 
we're not in even this generation started a while back where we are in genetically modified food all over the place which right? is crap man sugar I, has like 30 different names to it it's Correct. great crap though right i love junk food yeah junk food is pretty damn yeah. good but no. you know <laughs> are you right there <laughs> went back in no, no no the one good thing about it is like with all the testosterone and all the shit it's like chicks are developing like you know we got this no like like what it's like bigger tits yeah oh, hell yeah go to go to america look at all the women over there oh so people are it's developing like, faster because of the genetically modified yeah food. because of all the shit yeah but doesn't that worry you doesn't that you know if you know those big no, chicken legs they have in certain at a restaurants big, with a big <laughs> set of you know and the things are like fortified with like vitamins and shit, but then there's all the other crap that comes with What's the fortified with vitamins uh, and shit? They, they, the, the milk! People, the kids in the States, they keep drinking this uh, milk and they the show kid. up and they're like six foot two and they're like all half bitten. I'm like, what the fuck, man? They're huge. What are you yeah. eating over there? What's in your chocolate milk? I was talking about their boobs. Their boobs, but you know. Genetics and uh... <laughs> anyway, so everything is genetically modified nowadays, and so we're all eating a bunch of crap when really we should be eating raw broccoli, raw carrots, and beef straight off the bone. Wow! Right? Yes. Beef off like the bone. cavemen, we should be knocking things out Going and skinning paleo. them alive, <laughs> and you know, eating them like that. So now, food companies obviously are in cahoots and want us to eat all their crap, and that's what we do. We're very obedient like that. We Marketing. eat all their crap. So here we go. The first. Terrifying facts that food companies don't want you to know. Your yogurt. Yogurt. I love yogurt. Yogurt love is yogurt. very healthy. I like yes. yogurt. I knew yogurt that. Yogurt is micro, super healthy. Yeah, yeah. microbiotics, micro, right? Micro nutrients and whatever. Yeah. Those Diet right. foods. It's good for your gut. You can even use natural yogurt in your vagina if you have a yeast infection. That's disgusting. Did you know that? <laughs> That's disgusting. That is a fact. Seb, you, you can, can use, use it in your vagina. Natural, in my vagina. My vagina. <laughs> not sugar-filled yogurt. Natural yogurt for women that have yeast infections. It has been known to be a cure. It yeah, has man, because that's, it has the same bacteria. Or whatever anyway. I will Whoa. never look at yogurt fruit, fruit the same again. No, no, it has to yeah. be natural. Every man, time fruits, I no have fruits. a bowl of something with yogurt on it, I am going to see a vagina in the middle of yeah. that. Whoa, whoa. Does Thank this you, taste, Does this taste like a berry to you? <laughs> no, it tastes well, like if vagina. You're going, if you're going down on your girl when she's had, you know, that A problem, yeast infection? Yeah, I know whoa. she's got yogurt whoa. there. At least, you know, it'll be okay. yogurty. One thing I've never seen is a vagina with a yeast infection. If ever I, I, I have see never those, seen any picture. I've never tried surfing for it. Of course not. You're okay. a human being. Who the hell would want to surf? Well, it's what kind like of sick? Fucking bastard! And hopefully, Hello. Go, hey, I want to see a picture of this. And hopefully, the guy something. behind our booth right now is not searching for a vagina. He's totally doing it. He's I know it right now, dude. I'm going to something. I, I am see. going to throw up on everybody okay, in front okay, of this okay, fucking okay, camera. Wait, okay, okay. Yogurt oh is good for you. Yogurt. We yogurt. We all thought for yogurt you. was good for us, for but that. it is full of sugar. When it was just plain yogurt, it was fine. But now. There is twice as much sugar per serving in a cup of yogurt as there is in Lucky Charms. The cereal. Oh, me Lucky Charms. Yeah. Yeah. Still me Lucky cereal. Charms. I can't do an Irish uh, accent. I'm British. Me Lucky English. Charms. <laughs> He's still up in So yogurt charm. is. We're only on our first you. one. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do sir. It's like, okay, wrap this shit up, and we haven't even talked about the first one. All right. No, no, but Greek, okay, Greek yogurt, which is supposed to be the even more natural one, actually has more sugar per ounce than Coca-Cola does, which Coca-Cola, like 22 ounces of Coca-Cola, has 22 packets of sugar in it. Okay. And that's that means that Greek yogurt has more sugar than Coke in it. So don't eat the yogurt. Yep. Get a fucking Coke. Yogurt is no go -gurt. No okay. go. Yeah. Okay. Subway. You know the fat guy that lost loads of weight because of his Subway diet? Yes. Yes. What's his name? You Simon? can eat. Uh, you can go on a Subway diet Garfunkel? and lose weight, apparently. Correct. Mo what was his name? Anybody? Joey. Anyway, that guy. Wow. Uh, <laughs> The advertised nutritional values of Subway do not include condiments like mayonnaise, ketchup, uh, what else do you put on mustard? Butter. Butter. Dressing or cheese you undoubtedly request along with your sub. So the standard toppings can easily double or triple the amount of calories, fat, sodium, and sugar in your healthy sandwich. So. You know what? You pretty much just have to eat the bread with a piece of ham and lettuce. And that's it. That's yeah. your basic soap. No, then you lose the weight. Otherwise, you're just going to stay a fatty. 
Now, Applebee's. We don't even have Applebee's here. Some, no some of the oriental chicken salads, I'm pretty sure like uh, the salads they serve over at KFC. Yes. One of those things. Okay. Yeah, so they have salads, right? And because they have dressings and everything, this salad, these salads actually have like 1,310 calories, 93 grams of fat, and 1,470 milligrams of sodium, which for women, before you have your, you know, men's time, your yeast sodium, infection. Sodium. Yeah, what? Sodium makes you bloat. Really? You retain water, okay. sodium, you know what I mean? So having a lot of sodium is not good for you. Dude, so there are no porn stars in this fucking article that we're talking about right now. No, it's the next one. Okay, that's the next one. Okay, the next okay, one. Okay. So eating salad is actually worse than eating a Big Mac meal, which is only 1,130 calories, 58 grams of fat, and 1,245 milligrams of You know what, though? This is like, okay, this is like not... Pinoy style salad. No, but say, this is like American style salad. No, now, we, when they make a salad in in the states, it's like that. It's like a mountain. Yeah, it it's is like, like ridiculous. Like when, oh, no, like when Wendy, states. like when Wendy's had a salad bar. Remember when Wendy's had a sa lo salad bar in our restaurants? Mm -hmm. And you could just go, kind of like, pile it on okay. with like you know gelatin and shit. How would they do that? Would it be know. like charged it's, by the pound? Like no, that, no, no, no. It's whatever. unlimited salad. So in other words, yeah. Yeah. When you eat when you eat at KFC, do you like get a separate plate and put gravy on it? <laughs> no. Yeah, just yeah, dude. Because the gravy's free. You do? Yeah, you not play. anymore though. You no. Do. There's like well, a thing. Charge, charge there's a fucking pump. gravy now, right? They charge you for gravy? No. There's like a thing by the by the, where they get the spoons and forks, and there's like a pump, and then you can just put gravy. Really? But yeah, dude. Nuts. You must like a lot of gravy. Gravy's fucking good. <laughs> but gravy then again, good, man. if I, I order for the shit, and I if rub I it all over order for the salad, I would as well get a plate full of gravy. To go with my salad. You have gravy on your salad? <laughs> I don't know. It, it works. I don't know. I, don't you dip gravy? I go, I just buy rice and I get the gravy. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's now, this is what you do. You you get a zinger and then We're you get a cup, fill it up with gravy. Don't order for a cup. Ever you take again. a bite from your zinger and then sip the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> sip the gravy. <laughs> Fuck it, hey, it's guys. beautiful. We're telling you how to save on some genius, shit. Dude, that's genius, genius. Beautiful. Low budget <laughs> meals. All right. Some of the largest companies have used brain scans to find out that our brains react to sugar and cocaine in very similar ways. So technically, every product that has ever had sugar in it, it's like you're getting high on coke. Wow, ah, man. That's, that's wrong. These, you know, sugar makes you feel good. People yes, are going to hell, it man. It does. These fucking major companies are going to hell. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. See. Okay, and uh, Fiber one. there are all these low sugar and diet foods that you can choose from, but they all contain things like saccharin or aspartame sweeteners that have been pro proven to cause weight gain. So they just what put the fuck. They just put sugar in different words. It's like how the Eskimos have like 50 different words for the word ice. But I drink so much Coke Light because it doesn't have sugar. Yes, but it has sucrose and it has glucose and it has saccharins and it has the problem all this is other we are stuff. so fucking trusting. If a company puts the word light or diet or shit, well, not it shit. It must but, be bad. Yeah, then we just, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> oh, wow. Shit. Thank Ooh, you. I'm buying that. I'll take a shot of shit <laughs> any day. We're gonna man. take some <laughs> Coke shit today. <laughs> it's totally on the menu. Even at healthy buffets, you will likely overeat to get your money's worth. Well, mm -hmm. duh. That's true. That's like, seriously. Fucking A, I'm one of those. No, I, here's a tip, know? though. If you, if you really had a buffet, you don't get the pasta, don't get the fucking yeah. just pile on Fuck the fucking the starch. meat. Yeah. Don't eat the bread, the pasta, the rice, skip all of that stuff get out. Get the good stuff. Yeah, get all the good stuff. See, my eat. problem with this is like, I have a wife, and my wife, I'll tell you this, we're gonna line up for a buffet, all right? So I'm all excited, because, you know, and she's like, yeah, I wanna do the buffet, I wanna do the buffet. Okay, so we line up. She orders sushi, that's it. She gets That's all she ever gets is fucking sushi. So I'm paying like $30 for fucking sushi. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, I gotta eat more, right? Cause fuck, I gotta get $60 so you're, so worth you're of this shit. up for it, yeah, you're yeah. like loads of plates. Oh, and she's like, there was a she's little like, plate oh, of sushi. You know and she's like, I'm not really hungry. I'm like, why the hell did we do buffet? Doing buffet? <laughs> God damn it, woman. <laughs> Stop eating like a bird. Man, exactly. problems. <laughs> My girlfriend won't eat at buffets. Studies have shown that watching TV makes people unaware of how much they are eating. The average American will spend nine years watching TV. That is nine years of just stuffing your face in front of a TV. I actually don't eat at the movies or while I watch TV. I, I always have to have I get, I get distracted. I gotta do it. You have to. 
I have to. Oh. Even if I've eaten a full meal yeah, before you gotta going into the movie, face. I gotta have. It's not stuff in your face. It's just <laughs> putting things. Gorging your, yourself, yes. Matthew. Just <laughs> putting things yourself. in your face. You know what you do? You get your popcorn while it's hot. You get like a, a Hershey's chocolate. You dump it in there. And then it melts into your popcorn. That is disgusting. That is beautiful stuff. Is I thought you were gonna say you pour some KFC gravy. No, you could also do <laughs> into your popcorn. It's like awesome. sweet, salty, and buttery. Oh my god! Oh. All right, one more fact before we go into a break: Taco Bell's taco meat is only thirty-six percent. Taco meat. Bell's taco beef. beef. <laughs> Sorry. The list of ingredients for Taco Bell's beef include water, soy, lecithin. What do I have yeah, to say? There? Lecithin. It's a, a, an anti. I was gonna say disgusting. Anti dusting agent. <laughs> anti disgusting, disgusting agent. agent. Anti dusting agent and natural smoke flavor. Natural smoke flavor. I mean, they had somebody with a cigarette blowing on it while, <laughs> yeah. I'll, while I'll they were eat making that it shit. the top. That's, what, that's, that's, that's the what good makes, stuff. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what makes it taste oh so good. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, we gotta go into a commercial, guys. We'll be back with more things that food companies don't want you to know, as well as our sex mints right after this break. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off! Tears off! Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, jaundice. And I am now. Happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. What about dog? Any of them? Tapos. What about it? Hey, tapos. Di to ba pwede ba yan? Pwede pwede. Konsi. Yeah, na para sa show mo ha, oh. Rico, ano yaya ba? Pwede pa tong ano? Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing. Pwede pa tong pang nose line. Okay, oh. may caution. A ah, caution! When, when caution! What's that glamour thing? When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Aburay na, aburay na siya. Oh my god! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang glamour! Ito talaga? Pwede bago yan, don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakapin. Dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakinat. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. And if you think call center work is easy, think again. Because if you want to get into the industry, you have to practice. Vladimir Vlad is the best pump if I want to punch a fire and fuck out the post for biting that. Ano sa akin yung sa laro, lilipad ka? Pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a
boat. All right, so moving on. Actually, before we talk about this uh, thing that you want to talk about, can we talk about fake eggs? Oh, God, yeah, sure, let's do this. All right, I okay. hate, by the way, I just want to tell you, I hate eggs. I do not eat eggs. Egg is a little egg. Egg. Yeah. Oh, They're the most disgusting Omelets. eggs ever. How Fucking... can you not have, how can you not like eggs? I can't stand it. When you got Why? Like, is it the they, texture? The is smell, it the, the fucking the, It smells like man. fart. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't it do it. I don't like know, I guess fart. when you eat egg and then you burp it out, it smells like fart. I don't know, it's something about what the egg is. And when you eat lots of eggs and then you fart, it smells horrible. But stop, it's fucking gross, man. <laughs> it's terrible. Eggs I was, I was feeding a lot of eggs or feeding? 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 You were feeding? What? Feeding? He, 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 he was feeding. <laughs> uh. I was feeding a lot of eggs. <laughs> okay. So somebody just said Fuck it, I'm sorry to all the people, but for you. I was fed. They, what, they like force fed you eggs? Yes. I was a kid, I was a little kid. So and I ended up throwing up and, and ever like, since then. Oh, yeah, you got a thing about eggs. eggs. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta oh, eat okay. the eggs, you gotta eat the eggs. It's gonna make you big and strong and good and whatever. And it gives you fucking And make you have big strong. eggs. And big eggs. Big balls. <laughs> 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 anyway, so speaking of eggs, in Singapore, there was a guy uh, who opened up his eggs and opened up the eggs. This egg just a regular to, guy? This guy was yeah, just like a and normal then he, guy. No, it was the president. No. <laughs> <laughs> just some dude. No, I'm just saying, was he like a food blogger? Some normal or was he a guy. Or was he just some guy? <laughs> no, just some Jesus dude. Jesus Christ, he the sarcasm squeezed... in the room is so fucking thick. All right. They squeezed the egg and the white of the egg crumbled apart in a manner similar to gelatin. I look at that thing. That is what not is normal. What is that? Apparently in China there was this whole scam about fake eggs. Why would you fake an egg? How can you fake an egg? How can you? How do you even get the fake egg in inside the shell? the shell? How do you fake it so badly it looks like a lot of effort went into faking an egg and it's what made of gelatin what are, maybe you know what maybe they're just alien chickens maybe I it's not fake no idea, maybe these chickens have been sweet. fed so much genetically modified crap that now they are laying eggs that are just full of genetically maybe, modified crap maybe the egg the the red part of the egg mixed in with the it's uh, not red well, it looks yeah, it looks like gel. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> shit, man. Hey, wait, isn't the the whole point of faking something is to fool the person into thinking it's real? Yeah, that's a bad fake egg, bro. <laughs> you exactly, know what this means, man? This means that whoever's making fake eggs really thinks that humanity is stupid now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that you we'll think we're stupid? Because I would never not. be fooled. I hate eggs, and I would not be fooled by that piece of shit. You wouldn't eat it even if it was. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> no, fake yeah, eggs. I would, I wouldn't. Watch out. For fake eggs, apparently it's hit China and it's hitting Singapore. So if you do crack open an egg and it looks like it's not an egg, don't eat it. Don't Actually, eat if you it. crack open anything and it looks like shit, don't fucking eat it. Yeah. Man. That and if is you crack true. open a beer and it looks like shit, and while we're on cracks, don't eat it. Don't eat those either. <laughs> Unless you like that kind of thing, tossing salads and all. Right, right, next we're moving on to the Cambridge headmaster who will not rule out a porn star visit. Yeah. I like this guy. My kind of hey fucking... Hey, guy, in what's order going to, on? In order to teach kids about what real life uh, relationships are in love, he is not saying no. He's actually game for inviting porn stars to teach them that what happens in porn isn't real. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Yeah, that's really wrong. Yeah, dude. Fuck that's, me. That's a fallacy. Porn, porn videos teach people how to have amazing sex. Correct. So you're saying that bringing a porn star into school would not teach kids about real relationships? It would actually make it worse? I'm saying... Uh, no, 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 no. He's trying to say that... <laughs> he's, trying <laughs> to, <laughs> he's trying to bring a porn star in to disprove the, uh, his, uh, this weird idea that porno doesn't show real relationships and real sex lives. Correct. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, so... Uh, but that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because Why that, is that bullshit? Man, have you seen the love? That's all love. That's all love, man. That's true videos, love. They're, they're all truly they're, in love with yes, each other. They are so Have you never with each been other? lovingly choked and spat on oh, on your face? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, a, that's a real passionate yeah. moment. Yes. Absolutely. I suppose that if you when they stick two dicks in your ass, it's it's love. It no. has it's, to be, it's 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 too, has, it's I've too never much seen love. it that way. I've been doing this love thing all yeah. along my entire life. Bro. Apparently, I need to have two men stick dicks up my ass. And when you get spooged in the eye, it that is the ultimate of all love. That's like the sign of kind love. Of love. Yeah. When you it's get like, spooged it's like getting a, in the eye. It is like getting a card. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, like but better like, because it's like physical and you have it on you. Oh. Spooge on your face means I love you. It's also supposed to be good for your skin, so that's a doubly <laughs> reason exactly. why you should get spooge in the yeah. face. So in other words, this guy is full of shit. Bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so this is where you, this, you, this, you know what, the whole story doesn't even matter anymore. We've been talking about being spooged in the face and how it's good for your skin. And pretty much I think that that is the only thing we're going to get out of this. marks down here. And that that is the oh ultimate, Lord. Alright, if you were to invite a porn star to your school, yes. that would be crazy. That would be amazing. I know, right? All the <laughs> I boys would love it. Me, man. But see, the problem with this is that, actually there's no problem with it. What it no. is, is that they're trying to show kids that there are real relationships in the world because of all this internet stuff and all yeah. that, you know. People don't have real relationships with each other. It's like, <laughs> me and Sib are really only Facebook friends. We don't touch each other in real life. This is not a real friendship. We only chat to each other on Facebook. This is not reality, children. No. Facebook numbers are not real lives. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> those aren't your real lives. That brought a tear to my eye. That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> But no, 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 no. But what, what he's trying to show, though, seriously, though, on a serious side, what he's trying to show is that, you know, because people see um, a porno, a porn. porno, and it's, you know, everybody's just an object, and they think it's like, oh, that's just the way it is, and all. But no, that's not the way it is. These people are doing a job. Yes. And that's basically it. And, and it's and, to entertain. You know, so obviously, it's kind of over the top and everything. Of but do you think that because everybody has so much access to pornography and all this other stuff nowadays, that women? I mean, younger women have actually become better more, fucks. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was I was gonna say sluttier and more uh, open to open to many things I like so, anal man. sex and threesomes. Ninja and parties. Ninja parties. What is a ninja party? You have uh, not heard of a ninja. I have watch never our heard. first episode. Where were you <laughs> yeah, at we're... Set the first day? <laughs> oh my goodness me! A ninja party. <laughs> Is where a bunch of kids, and it started with kids here kids. in this country. This is a true story, people. It started parents, in pay this attention. country. Really? No. Well, I don't know Who where says it the started. the Philippines never invented anything? Ninja party. Okay. I don't know if it started here, but it started with eleven-year-olds in this country. What? That's how old they okay. were. Okay. Eleven-year-olds all got together, and we talked about this in our first episode. If you guys have already I don't seen remember it, remember that part. So uh, what they do is they go into a room with each other. There's a whole bunch of them. They wear masks. They wear no. They wear they, they blindfold themselves. So like so they're like ninjas. You know what I mean? Masks. Yeah, they blindfold it. Without eyes. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> they dress up like they a mama in a mama masks. They turn off the lights, which is dumb because they're already wearing blindfolds. And then they have they fuck each other. boinky boinky with each other. So in other words, it's like the voice. That's so creepy. What if I touch with, with, with sex? What if I accidentally touch a guy? That's then creepy. that's on you, that, that's man. That's what I wonder too. You know, do you think that they just wander around and they're like, "All right, nah, go." You know, there's always <laughs> hey, yeah, no, no, hey, there's, hey, and with yeah, everything, oh, yeah, yeah, there is always there's always that one <laughs> it's pervert. Totally messed man. up your hair. <laughs> See, if I were a ninja <laughs> party, there's no, no, there's always that one fucking pervert. What? That's like, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna control this here. Okay, I'll stick this in this, and I'll make you go. You yeah. know, there's always that guy, and he's always what? a little older. What kind of a school did you go to? <laughs> La Salle. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest school for learning all this shit. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Great. Like, you know, La Salle is like, what the hell? <laughs> there's like a priest <laughs> watching the show. I'm sorry, but <laughs> shut up, bitch. We're about, we're gonna have to take away your diploma. <laughs> Wow. So fuck? anyway, a ninja party. This is what's happening, guys. So anyway, yeah, this is what the headmaster is trying to do. He's trying to bring a porn star into the school so the porn star can be like, oh, no, you know, we just have sex with each and other. And it's not real. For money, uh, not know? for, you know, just like prostitution, but... You know, like, I never suck that guy's dick. That's my fluffer's job. Her name is Trixie, and she's great. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, if we were gonna... My hair really looks like shit now. Thank you so much. <laughs> can we get a close-up on me real quick? Thank you. I like it. You look like Caesar. <laughs> what, you look like Caesar? <laughs> if it were all down, you guys would look like, oh, you mean like Ju Julius Caesar. Yes, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. That's the Basti uh, Julius Caesar look. Fantastically well done. So would you let a porn star talk to your kids in school if you're the headmaster butter? Uh, as a parent, which I'm not, I would... How uh, old are the kids? How old are my kids? Teenagers. If they were teenagers, sure. Sure, why not? <coughs> why not? 
Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm glad I'm just saying, so, you so asked easy the about this. Yeah. Hell yeah. Go ahead. Talk to my son about you this. You know, tr Tracy Gray. What's her name? Tracy Lawrence. Sasha no, Gray? not Tracy. Sasha Gray. Sasha, Sasha Gray. Gray. Sasha Gray. She quit the porn industry. And, and now she's teaching kids how to do porn? No, she's teaching no, no, no. young kids English. That's Sasha yeah. Gray. Yeah. yeah. That is Sasha Gray. Yeah. Well, I must yeah. applaud. Yeah. See, Sasha if she went to my school. <laughs> yes, definitely. Bravo, my bravo. God! What's she gonna say, honestly? Like, no, no, no but she's okay. Knows, pretend no, you're she's... a porn star. You're about to tell kids about how relationships are not what you see in a porn movie, kids. Yeah, baby, am I your dirty slut? I'm your dirty slut. You are That's the worst porn star I've ever seen. I sound in like my a life. dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. It does such a dirty. You do. That. You do. I'm, I'm, I'm such a dirty slut. I'm your dirty <laughs> slut, daddy. I'm such a dirty. Who's that? Who's this one? Sasha Gray. No, it's not. No, it's not Sasha. Gray. Is it? Jenna Hayes. That's Jenna Hayes. Jenna Hayes. Jenna Hayes. Jenna Hayes. Good Are we just going to show more pictures of Yeah, let's stars? just do this that, is man, for the rest of the is fucking this show. Is this Tia Tanaka? Yeah. That's my favorite. I like Tia. If she went What's to my school. What's her specialty? Um, she has a cute butt and she has a parang. What do you call this? <laughs> That's actually not a special. <laughs> <laughs> What's her specialty? So anal, I'm Cute guessing. Butt. Is her no, she has a she has a bilet on her butt somewhere there, but she has a what? Like a, a birthmark on her butt? Like somewhere here's my. Does she do a lot of anal then? Is <laughs> no, this no, she, they like, like taking her. Cindy Crawford. They like taking her. We're losing. We're losing sight of they the got, topic. <laughs> Speaking of butts, hello. Is, is this the one that looks like cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This is Tori Black. Who awesome. recently gave birth. See, she's a real person. See? She has a baby. That is basically what they're trying to do. <laughs> I'm sorry I've watched her and uh, never, they, they think never that. think of you. They think <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. If you had moment. a porn star come to your school to teach you about real relationships, kids, what you see in porn is not real. Yes, you can try and have anal sex and all that other stuff that you see in pornography, but it's not always gonna look as good as you think. If you don't believe me, you gotta angle it right to make it look good. Yes, and you gotta. And you know, lighting is very important. Okay, agree <laughs> with me here if you agree what? with me. But if you wanna proof that life is not a porn movie, film yourself having sex and watch it back. Dude, fuck like a porn star. Don't people want to do that? I know, but have you ever filmed yourself and watched it back? No, because I don't want to get into a fucking thing. It definitely does not look uh, like a thing. porno. I don't want to get into a Hayden Cobb. Yeah, look, look there. Look <laughs> there. Look, I don't want to get into that Hayden Cobb. You got who you got fucks two, like a porn star? You got two, uh, what was it? That video was like two celebrities. It's like, whoa. Celebrities. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Just insult people. <laughs> no, no, no. Celebrities, but whatever they are. You know, they're famous people. Shooting a porn does not look attractive whatsoever. No, but, uh, but what? I've watched the sex video and I thought it was great porn. Hayden. 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 Give I'm, him a big, a I'm a big He's fan. A big fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan. We should actually This is a touchy topic. I'm sure, I'm sure he would love Congratulations it. on your marriage. What's her face? <laughs> what? <laughs> on your what? Oh, yeah, she just got married. Yeah. She on totally your marriage. Did. Yeah, on your wedding. To one of our favorite people. Anyway, guys, we got to go into another break. But remember, we are having a Havianas contest. If you want to win a pair of Havianas, all you got to do is follow us on Twitter at that show PH and use vagina in a sentence like, ho, oh, I would have kicked you, but I don't want to lose my shoe up your vagina. Team vagina. Team, and hashtag oh, Team Vagina. Hashtag Team Vagina. We'll be right back with more of that show right after this break. You know his name's actually Dick Poon, if you think about it. Dicky Poon? Yeah. Yep, Dick Poon. Who's Dick Poon? I don't know if you guys are familiar with a, with a game Chubby Bunny. But, um, let's say. Have you ever played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth, and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can put the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say, we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba. Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm gonna do it at a time. Okay, gonna ba. What? Okay, no, okay, no. I just saw it. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. 
We're back here on the NMF Network, right here, right here, and this is that show with me, Cat. Mm -hmm. My name is Seb Basti. Yeah, and we're doing uh, Sex Mints, my favorite part of the show. And I just Already? noticed that we're in the men's bathroom today. Yeah, I'm there. Oh my gosh, I went to a restaurant last night, and in the bathroom, there is a picture of a giant eye, and it says, We are watching you. Throw your toilet paper in the trash can, not in the toilet bowl. I never understood that. It doesn't even, what do you So mean? how does that what? work? Like you wipe your ass and, and you, you throw the toilet because you don't want to clog the shit out. Yeah. Look dude, if I have shit on a fucking piece of toilet paper, I am not throwing that in a trash can. Isn't that more disgusting to that clean up? That is disgusting up? like hell, man. I don't do But what do they mean? You're I, missing the point of the sign here. It was a giant eye saying they're watching you. If you throw the toilet paper in creepy. the toilet, they're gonna know. Oh. It's kind of creepy. Do you still want to pee if there's a giant eyeball on the side of the toilet De watching you? Depends who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> who's behind the eye? <laughs> Alrighty. Is it a pretty girl? <laughs> <laughs> you like what you see? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, here's a question. If you guys were ever in one of those bathrooms where they stick their, you know, glory holes? No, I've never. No, seen, man. I've never, what the that shit don't Would happen. You do here. it? No. It you never stick your penis through a glory hole? No, because there could be some weird dude, and totally not a girl, yeah. playing with my dick on the other side. No, like that. They could be filming it. They, How would you, you know? ever know, though? What if there's, like, teeth? Would it matter? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Of course it, Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't. If I never knew, it really wouldn't, actually. Right? If you never knew who it was on the other side of the glory hole, would it really matter to you? Dude, what if I feel a beard all of a sudden? Ah, oh! Whoa! Inside their mouth. No, I mean, what if I feel uh, a chin with like hair on it all of a sudden? It's like my balls are very sensitive. <laughs> like I can, I can so stubble. Uh, it's there's just... no balls coming through a glory hole. No, pool. my balls, man. You know, if you they like... come through the glory hole. No, but if you like, press it inside and then it presses it the face. All right, all right. Anyway, thing. time for sexment, guys. Like we always say, it is the time of the show where we admit we talk about sex. Even though the rest of the show is always about sex now. <laughs> Are you bored at home with your sexy time? Are you bored at home with your sexy time? I'm all right. You're all right? Are you I'm bored good. at home with your I'm sexy good. time? I'm you good. guys obviously have your balls in a vice grip, and that's why <laughs> you good. are both like, I am so happy. You never say no. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you good with your sex? Like, yeah, no, I'm fucking good. All the time. It's the best. Hey, all day. I'm a rock star. Rock star. I don't yeah, even watch porn anymore. It's a lie. It's totally a lie. I fucking watch it all the time. <laughs> What's going on? What are we doing? Alrighty, do? so if you want to sex up your sex life, yeah, put the sex back in life. Yeah. If you want to put the sex back in life, all you have to do get is a toy. Lie. A sex toy, that's right. Now, guys, I know that it's a, whoa. I know that it's a little bit taboo to talk about sex toys in this country because people don't really, you know, they don't really, number one, there's not really much access to them. I mean, there's only a few sex toy stores. Are we just gonna yeah, flick all the pictures <laughs> of sex toys through while I'm talking about this yeah. right now? Yeah, that's a vibrator. Here out. is She's giant dildo oh. number three. <laughs> oh, can we not? Speaking of Superman, doesn't that look like what the hell they got frozen in? What? The entire f oh, first the oh, it's veiny! Oh, oh it's yes. veiny! That is a veiny number oh, right there. Oh my god! Oh, okay. stop complaining. You like that You like the... <laughs> you like <laughs> the... Right. Play oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, better. What is that? Is it a snake dildo that with evil like beads in it? That is like the thing that comes out, the, out of the alien's mouth. <laughs> It's got All a right. it's got a All spine right. in it. All right, okay. So, go so back here we go. How there the there are a couple just, like, of places. Run all of those so fast? There are a couple of places you can buy sex toys in Manila. Have you ever used a sex toy? There is, no, no, I've never. Have you used, ever used a sex no. toy? I don't need a What's sex toy because I got guys? these motherfuckers. Yeah, I get and, it. Then, and the thing in the mouth. 
What's happening? And I got a zombie. <laughs> you know, no. What's what just happened there? Sorry. I feel grossly weird right now. Shut up. Don't make me feel awkward. All right. <laughs> so we're going to take you through a couple of these sex toys that you might want to use on your partner. Because, hey, after years and years of being Disgusting. together, sometimes pump? sexy time gets a little more, you know, mundane mm. and boring. And Would you guys stop poking the anal cock ring? I'm looking at... Ah, uh, that's what that is. Okay. Right. <laughs> that's what? an anal. That is a butt plug. I've seen many uh, of those things in porno. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know about sex toys. It's a butt plug. <laughs> that is oh a butt my plug. god. It could have been like, is that a tulip? Wow, that's such a pretty contraption. It's, okay. it's a butt plug. <laughs> All right, anyway, so as we were saying, sexy time can get boring sometimes, and you do things to spice it up, spice don't it you? Up, yes. Because, I mean, how long have Costumes, you been with your wife? 15 years. 15 years. So after 15 years, you know. Drills, man. We're on. We're on like Donkey Kong. Man. Nice, Fucking nice, hell. nice. And you, you guys have been together for three years. Three years, yeah. and sexy time is still going strong. Yeah. All no right. Sex toys. Always say yes. <laughs> now, if you do want to try sex toys, and you're not like these two idiots over here, <laughs> now we're gonna take you through a so couple of them. Like Donkey okay. Kong, man. An innocent vibrating egg. Do we have the vibrating egg? Is this the fake Singaporean egg that we were talking I've about? I've seen earlier? one of those things. They are shaped. Some of them are shaped like a bunny at the at the other end. How can it be an egg? Okay, so uh, this it's egg, existed. the vibrating egg, pretty much, it's like a little silver bullet thing, and it's attached to a little remote control. Now you can either put up put it up your lady's vagina, mm -hmm. or put it on her clitoris because. <laughs> There is a control. That's a dildo, guys. Come on, That's vibrating egg. Is, vibrating the egg. The vibrating right. egg is. So a, the vibrating egg. Wrong information. Right you can now. have the remote control yourself. You can give it to your partner, and, and they can, can press the buttons. No, for you. you never give the remote control to your fucking partner. Why not? Yeah. Because, man. Then she's in her own world and you're not yeah. part of it. Then what are you, just the watcher? No, I'm saying, you're like no, I'm saying, guy. You're hello, like, yeah, I'm the woman. Watching. Give to your partner means I give it to the man. Ah, uh, okay. Right. okay, you didn't make that clear. I didn't make it clear that I'm a woman. No. I'm sorry, right, that sorry that in the sorry, beginning sorry. of this show I did not clarify. I am a girl. Have Thank you ever you heard so you say much. fuck? What? Scary. <laughs> it's, it's, it's totally like a dude. Fuck that shit! That's how she says fuck. I'm not even joking. Fuck I did that. not say that foul word. I do not cuss. Mm -hmm. Ever. Anyway, the vibrating egg, you can either put it up your woman's vagina or it can or be on her clitoris. Is that the vibrating egg? Or yeah, is that yes, the vibrating, vibrating okay, egg. And that God, is the remote control. Worried. And you can also, actually, because it's vibrating, any vibrating toy you can also use on a man's gooch. No. Yes, no, you can. No, no, no vibrating You can use egg. it on a man's gooch and it turns them on. Trust me, women, if, if you have it, a vibrating toy, get your man drunk and then put it on his gooch. That thing It'll make him accidentally very, very goes into my happy. butt. We have. How could it accidentally go into it's, my butt? No, no, no. It's the gooch. The gooch is, the gooch like is not there. in the it's butt. It's near your calipers gland. Yeah, remember? but if it's somewhere there and she gets a bright idea. What if I stick it in? How, what kind of girl? She gets, she gets inspired. She's like, wow, this is making him feel good. I wonder what happens if I do this. Oh, oh my what God. kind of girls are you dating that you I, are so paranoid that they're gonna stick that things up your anything butt? Anything close to my butt. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. A man really has a uh, like a radius. Yeah, right? like it, we got like it, a it, thing, like a radar. You have a butt. vagina. This is the this, this is, is the, the anus, and then we have like a radius. 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 <laughs> a radius thing going on here, and if there's like a finger that goes near it, it's like, yeah, dude. Whoop, whoop, did, did, yeah. Relax, relax. Yeah, relax. exactly. Liars, that never happens. You it's like just when you get into always. It. When you you're sit such down, a liar. I, I don't believe either of you, okay? I don't believe either of you. I'm calling you out. You're both liars. Number two, handcuffs. Never tried it. Have you never tried handcuffs? Never tried have it. you ever tried it? What the fuck is wrong with the both of you? I have never tried You've handcuffs. You've tried handcuffs. I have tried handcuffs. Have you handcuffed somebody or yes. were you the handcuffy? Both. Both. And Which one works better? Guy it, handcuffed it, or girl it, handcuffed? It Was totally it your feet depends. handcuffed or your hands? No, your hands. Okay, I'm just checking. I mean, it's not always handcuffs. You can also have like ties or, you know, like neckties or something, ropes, something like that. Or if you and? like get a little hardcore uh, wire. Wire. <laughs> barbed wire. Chicken no, 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 I'm just, I just roll that way. Give me the barbed wire. I'm just kidding. That's but right, handcuffs baby. Make me fun. bleed. <laughs> what? We're, we're not talking about like jail fantasies where you ass rape your boyfriend while bleed. he's handcuffed to the bed. Make me bleed and that choke is, me to death. 
fuck. I want to come like a mother. I'm sorry. That's a, I'm just gonna roll. That's a I'm good just, trip, oh, man. <laughs> that's a good anyway, trip. Sometimes <laughs> people like to be dominated, or they like to dominate other people. Now we're yeah. not talking about beating your partner up and handcuffing them for pleasure and all this stuff. We're talking about so handcuffing bad. so that the person, you know, doesn't can't do anything, and then you can have your way they with them. Like touchy, touchy, licky, licky, whatever yeah. you want, and then it's like sexy, sexy, because it's like, licky, ooh, licky. I can't touch you. <laughs> I'm a dicky, dicky. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what so how does, how does it work is it so, like, is yes. it like a, it's actually like because what it does is you, you can yeah i recommend it highly for people who like this kind of excitement because you can't touch each other therefore it makes it kind of you know you you what get do you mean that you arousal but if you he if can you, fucking touch you like hell if of you're, course you know, if you you're can. handcuffed but then you can't touch him you can't do anything so it's like that you know he's making you feel horny well, you can't do anything, and then he releases you in the wild animal, you know, boom, yeah. I don't, And then you go nuts? Yeah. Is that the like that? I don't like think that. I would like to be handcuffed. You know, do it! It's like it's that. Like, fuck you! Like fuck you right now! I know, but... Dad! <laughs> fuck you! Let me go! <laughs> I'm a grown-ass man, goddamn! I'm not fucking handcuffed! Fuck! <laughs> I'm sticking to you! Look oh around you! Fuck! Oh my god. Alright. I cannot be handcuffed. Number three, enjoy handcuffs if you want. <laughs> Number Number three, back. the mini massager. Massagier. Yeah, the mini massager. Nothing is more intimidating than a huge dildo, women. If you want to get your boyfriend into sex toys, getting a huge ass dildo is probably not a good idea. It will <laughs> yeah. make him scared. And if it is bigger than him, it will be very intimidating. Yeah. So, a mini massager. You start small with a little pocket rocket. What? Is that, that is not a pocket rocket. That is a <laughs> alien. Is that Cthulhu? What is that? That's a Star Wars dildo. Jesus right Christ. There. Is that Cthulhu? You're scaring. I don't even know what that thing. What's yeah, that? Yeah, it's Cthulhu. That's a clit tickler. Ah. ah. So, so a little pocket rocket is small enough to turn you on, but not big enough to turn your partner off. Vibrations are just strong enough. Then as larger vibrators, you know, actually little mini pocket rockets are strong vibrating things. Yeah, they do. You know, you put those like, on their uh, finger, right? No, 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 no. Mini massagers are like little tiny clit tickler type vibrators. That you put on your thing. finger. No, is you it the one that looks like finger. that? No, you're talking. You put it there and it vibrates up here too. No, it can, it on the can, finger. Comes it comes in all like shapes that. and sizes. It can look like a little tiny silver bullet. They even have ones that look like lipstick now, so women can hide them in their bag and you lipstick don't even know. Lipstick dick? Yeah, no, a pocket Why rocket. Why would you hide a fucking vibrator in, in your bag? bag. Yeah, what, because you got it. Oh, go to the club. Oh, you want to know something about a uh, You masturbate on the, the globe? What? I once had a vibrator. Sorry to my parents if you ever watch this episode, but. <laughs> What it would do is it had a little pager, right? You would stick the pager on your 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 outfit, and mm -hmm. there was a little tiny uh, thing about yay big. Are you talking your, about the your... pager, or we're still talking about what are we? Thinking? It's a sex toy. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And so it has a little thing that's attached to it, and you put it in your underwear on your clit, and then there's a remote control, and you can move up to ten meters away from the person with the remote control and still be pressing the buttons for the vibrator. Wow, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. It's like it's like that movie uh, with Katherine Heigl in it, where she's sitting at the table and then she gets an orgasm because somebody's pressing the button. <laughs> Have you seen that one? That's like yeah, kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, right? <laughs> it works. It's, like, it's like you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, uh, the gravy is delicious today. I will, I will today. Uh, never look at you the same again. That's did you have the remote or did you give awesome. it to some guy? You gave it to some guy. Come on, say yeah. it. Yeah. Come did on, you? say it. Come on. Did you give it's it to some guy? us. Who had the remote? All right. <laughs> Number four, lubes and oils. Be sure if you're going to use sex toys, especially dildos, and especially if you're going to use them, the butt, to uh, use lube, preferably water-based lube, right? What about spit? Water-based lube? No, spit is nasty. Spit, they do it in the porno all the time. Yeah. Have you never, uh, don't you How know about What the fuck are we showing? That's what a butt that? plug. That's another butt That's plug. That's like a three part <laughs> butt That plug. is a Why butt plug. Why do I know what butt plugs look like? <laughs> I know, I don't know why. Sim Look them up. Scott, it's all there, man. <laughs> it's right there, so. Uh, they enhance your sexual pleasure. They have the ones that are hot, that are cold. They cool your shit. There's the thing I was they talking about. They heat it up. They cool it down. Whatever it is you want, it makes you tingly and makes you pleasurable. And also makes sure you slippy, slippy in and out real good. And mm -hmm. no chafing, cutting, or you know any. Chafing is the stuff. enemy. 
right? Yes, that chafing is, is bad, which means uh, you can't have bang bang. Mm -hmm. So lube up your lady or man and make sure you can bang bang more, right? What's this thing I read about if you're supposed to put lube also inside your condom because it makes it more pleasurable for the guy? Probably, because then it's more slippy on your pee pee, right? I don't know. I don't know. That would be uh, confusing. I, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of it's confusing. Uh, really uh, I have to put it uh, inside. Uh, how do you do, how how do, do you even do this? that? Do you, you put it on like a shaft first, take it off, and then slip it down. Stick it in, uh, you put some more of that. I got a headache already. I don't even, I don't even want to have sex Number anymore. Number five, vibrating penis rings. It took so much time. I'm Penis soft. rings. Oh, can I just say something? Yeah. I saw one time, I saw the most disgusting thing, but good for the guy because I think the girl was like wow so you know you have these drinking moments with people and what? you you go to like random places and i guess we were like kind of close although we weren't but anyway <laughs> i think we we're like kind of close but stop, just stop. listen to this okay this actually happened yes right? bolitas what? so i go yeah no not bolitas what so I'm like there and I'm like, hi hey, everybody, right? And we're drinking, we're drinking, and then I don't know, 30 minutes into the whole drinking session, this this the friend of mine who invited me over was like, oh pare, pakita mo yung tite mo. That's you not, know as it usually happens. That's not a, guys yeah, don't do that. that. No no no, we were like a big ass group. Okay, <laughs> which makes it even yeah. you know. But that's why I was kind of comfortable because it wasn't just me and. Guy. <laughs> it can be if it was just me and like another guy and he did that, I'd be like, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> but no, there was like a big group, so whatever. Anyway, that's so it. And the dude okay. ends up. If there's more than one of you, if somebody. Dude, I had no there, choice. It's alright. It's like, okay. okay whip out I had no your choice. dick. Anyway, so yeah, the, the guy whips out his dick. But Sip, whip out your dick. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> We're not like a big ass group. Yeah. There's like six of us in here. No, I'm talking about 15. 15, you are. If it's 10 and above, then it's okay. If it's 10 and above, then it's okay. You don't are there four more, more people we can get out there? Do you want to hear what the fuck I saw? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Anyway, so this motherfucker whips out his fucking penis. And I swear to motherfucking God, it had a corkscrew thing around it. Was it underneath his skin? Underneath the skin. Like Whoa. a corkscrew thing, man. Like a silicone corkscrew that he, that implanted. he implanted. Yeah, man. And I was like... How big was his dick? Whoa! It wasn't big. I mean, not that it wasn't big, I don't know, but I mean, it, was, <laughs> yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't like he was like, hey, look at my shit. He wasn't aroused, <laughs> you know? So like, I don't know how big his fucking dick <laughs> fucking was, and baby I didn't bother armor trying to find out. <laughs> but no, but it was guys. just fucked up, man. It was like, I had never seen that before, I didn't know people did that kind of shit, but Obviously. apparently people do. That's so like bolitas like or fucking screw. steroids, man. Yeah, really. Can you imagine getting screwed by that? It's like a rick, real... rick, 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 rick. It's like those condoms with the fucking, uh, the pleasure with ridges. With the thing. Yeah. Again, I don't know what kind of vaginas you're having sex with that make those kind of things that... Dude, if you have a corkscrew on your penis, it'll be any kind of vagina that'll make that kind of noise. Rick, 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 rick. Like you got, you know those uh, massagers you got, you get like a body shop and you hit it on the fucking wood. That's it. Would sound like, like that. That's it. See, now do that back and forth. Rick, 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 Rick. See what I'm talking that's about? That's what would happen to your vagina. Rick, 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 Rick. Yeah. Or like the little frogs that you have a stick and they yeah. make that croaking <laughs> <crick, crick, crick laughs> sound. That's what it would sound like. Yep. So your vagina would sound like a croaking frog. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Don't, know, don't ever have sex with a guy with, with a, a guy with a fine corkscrew dick. dick. Unless yeah, it feels really idea. fucking good, and then tell me about it. Maybe I might want to have have one installed. Vibrating penis rings. If you don't have this corkscrew in your dick, there you go. That is a picture of my brain. We finally got ring. the right thing for the thing we were talking. All right. All right. Yes. Now, women have a lot of women have trouble reaching orgasm from sex alone, and a vibrating penis ring can help with that. What is it, you ask? A penis ring is an O-shaped ring that fits around the shaft, restricting blood flow, which means that you stay harder longer. Yes. Right. Yes. So uh, harder erections, longer lasting erections, and a whole bunch of new sensations. The vibrating ring can be directed at the testicles or at the woman's clitoris for extra stimulation. So you can turn it up. So That's when you're banging your it. chick, it's touching your balls, right? Down, yeah, and down, down or yeah, up, and, and, up, it's and it's touching the okay. clitoris. Unless you turn her around and then... Yeah, it would hit. The Actually, spot. no, you should do then that. You should turn her balls. around, do her doggy style, and then you get the balls and the clit. I don't think you'd hit the clit. You'd, I think you would. Well, maybe if you go like a little... <laughs> I, don't know. I think it would hit the clit. I think they we should just let Bassy do a porno in here. I think we've seen enough of all <laughs> this action. Light. 
It's, it's fucking fantastic. All right, so there you go. That was today's sex men, sex toys for you and your partner. What is the moral we have of the story? Is, it is not wrong to get a fucking sex toy. You should do it. There's nothing wrong. Oh, oh that is like the champion of all of the that's, shit. That is a Sibian. That is right. That is what is that? That is a, a Sib Sibulo Sibian. Sib Sibulo. <laughs> that's a Sibian. Oh, that's a Whoa, lot of That's penises. a little too much. <laughs> That's a lot of coffee. They named that thing oh my after goodness. me. <laughs> <laughs> there are different shaped heads for women in different pleasures, like different shaped. Whoa, clothes. that looks like a butt plug. What does it look like that? What the fuck, man? You do realize that this is going to be Sib Sibula's butt plug episode. <laughs> butt plug <right>? gay. <laughs> Sib Sibula butt plug gay is going to be the new search on no, but have you, for have you. Have you ever watched the, a video of With a butt woman? Plugs? No, a video of a woman riding on, one on of those a things. Sibian? On a Sibian? Basically, it vibrates and it goes like You gotta this. watch. I gotta yeah. watch like the a most Sibian awesome woman thing. riding a Sibian? I'm telling you right now, if there was a male. We actually do have a video. You we do? do? Can, Can we, we show, show it? it? Would people stop copying me? So Can I get a copy? Okay, this girl. Not she's no, not the she one. She's not gonna she's ride. Gonna it, ride I'm gonna throw up all over yeah. everything. Just sit on it like a chair. D Gary won't start <laughs> it up. <laughs> Carmen <laughs> Electra. Oh, she rides a Sibian. But she's not actually gonna put it on the inside of her No, no, no. I don't. Just sit on the goddamn chair. All right, she is going to try it out. Sit on the Sibian. Private area around there, and that just you know. We have Carmen right next to Come on, Carmen. Come on, just fucking do it. Yeah, man. Stop being such a shit. You want to sit on the Sibian dick? Let's see. Who's been on it? What famous actresses of Carmen is on the camera? I love him. We should get him on this show. He'd love it. Howard, come over here. And come on, sit on the damn thing. Dude, fuck this oh, goddamn stop girl, man. Boy, I man. I've met vagina. chicks like this in bars. It's like fucking useless. But come on, yeah, if you're gonna do it, do it. If you ain't gonna do it, don't do it. Come on. Would you write a Sibian if somebody paid you enough money? No. Ah, how much? <laughs> I'm a slut, man. How much? No, I wouldn't fucking write a Sibian because first I'd have to stick that shit up my ass. Come on. Well, that one the Sib was saying looked like a, a butt plug looked like it could be good for you. Not gonna happen. No? See, if that was I'm not sticking a machine. Hey, that guy's riding a fucking Sibian. I thought you said the girl was riding the Sibian. Why is dude on it? Is there like a forward button in this? So yeah, can yeah. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Looking shy. at her boobs is kind of fun. All right, here we go, and she is about. She's not gonna stick anything in her, right? She's no, just gonna no. kind of. It's a flat ride. It's oh, like but she put it under her skirt. That's it's awesome. Like... And then you land on it. Go Sit down. down already. Go down. Damn Come it. On. Go Come down. On. Just fucking do Sit. it. Yeah, go down. It'll take you two minutes. You do your. Spine. See, this is like me handcuffed. Just fucking do it. <laughs> oh! Come on. God, you're teasing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> It's terrible. Uh, All right, well, guys, if we ever do get the budget to have a Sibian in here, we'll get a girl to ride it, and it'll be faster than Carmen Electra doing it. That's really and go, go, God! Oh, come go. on! Just sit on the damn thing. It is like she's sitting on a vagina or something. Okay, though, isn't it? so okay, she's on it. She's on it. She's right? on it. Sitting. Ah, I can't watch this thing. Stop it. I'm getting blue fucking balls. <laughs> I do not need blue balls. Any fucking, fucking minute juice. now. Fuck. Oh Ridiculous. Everybody, everybody you want it, look it up. All right, God guys. Damn. Sex toys. Ladies, gentlemen, if you want to use sex toys, there's nothing wrong with it. Use a lot of lube. Keep your toys clean. That's always a very good thing to do. So you don't catch any kind of like weird, icky things from bacteria that gets grown on your yucky. You know what I mean. And don't get a dildo bigger than me. Yeah, mm. don't get a dildo that's bigger than your man. And if you do, hide it very well because he won't be happy about finding somebody else's penis-shaped thing and it's bigger <laughs> yeah. than his. Don't get the Jimi Hendrix penis or yeah. the fucking, fucking, you know, that big some other guy thing we showed the earlier. Long Zong you know? Silver, yeah. Yeah. And John, yeah. the John Holmes penis. Fuck. And don't just wave it in his face or try to stick it up his butt if it's, you know, his Peter first Peter North. <laughs> yeah, don't do the Peter North. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's about all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us again for another episode of that that's show. It. That is right. We have our contest. Don't forget our Javianas contest. If you want to win a pair of Javianas, all you have to do is follow us on at that show PH. Right there. Send us a tweet that has the word vagina in it. Like, what was the other one that I really liked? Uh, oh, your, um, your, your Instagram, Instagram is, is private. private. 
but your vagina is public. I like that a lot. That was really funny. So guys, keep sending them in. Use the hashtag Team Vagina and uh, send them in to us at that show PH on Twitter. We are so glad you joined us today for this episode, which is gonna be called Sib Sibulo Gay Butt Plug. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> cannot be a, that cannot be a search word. <laughs> Sib Sibulo Gay hashtag butt plug. Oh and it's gonna be all over Twitter later. That's amazing. Oh, all right, guys, we're gonna leave you with this clip with Carmen Electra being a teen Finally on CBN. She doesn't like it. Does she like it? No, she doesn't. She's pretending. Bullshit. She, she, Come has, on. Where the... she has one at home. She's pretending she doesn't even know what to yeah, do with it. She's really? like, this is her, her Sibian. She brought it in from is home. She, is it actually working right now? Yeah, that's her, right? Do we, you know, we need sound with this shit. Is she pleasuring herself? Is she happy? Turn it up. Yeah, turn up it's that It's vibrating. Shit. There you go. Okay. It's Wait. vibrating. This is no laughing matter. This is the best okay, thing I've ever felt in my life. She can handle a hundred. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, she got Don't it. Don't get off it. Get back on it. Turn it down. You want it down? Wow, what was that? That's that 100. was 100. That was 100. We're like 80. Are you feeling any? I felt like you, I was gonna take off. Are you feeling romantic? Romantic? No, I'm not feeling romantic. <laughs> the machine is rising in the air. <laughs> Wait, sit on it fully. Okay. Sit on it fully. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> oh my god, she's totally gonna have an run? orgasm right now. And think. Think about sex. Alright, get into it. Think about us. <laughs> Alright, forget that. Think about somebody hot. Is she gonna make O, o sounds? The top off. She's looking down. Is she really gonna have an orgasm on this thing? It's gonna happen. It's awesome. It's really great. Are you I love orgasming? It. I love it. I want one now. I want one. If I, I, oh, sit back down. <laughs> Howard, my legs are getting tired. Get back on really? there. All right, that's it from us. Enjoy Carmen Electra on a CBN. See you all next week for more of that show. That's bye it from us. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 God, that was kind of awesome.